So I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, multiply uh, matrices um, using the uh, Swiss Micro's TM42 calculator. <clears throat> um, I recently obtained this uh, after my HP48GX stopped uh, functioning after many, many years. I bought it in like 1993 and it just stopped this past week or so. So I had to figure out um, how does uh, the DM42 deal with uh, matrix operations? So let's just turn on and see here. I'll clear that out. Okay, first of all, go into the um, matrix uh, submenu. Uh, orange button matrix. Um, I'm going to go ahead and this is the matrix I'm going to uh, work on. I have worked out here, so that matrix times that matrix, and I should get that result in matrix. So, um, first you want to enter the uh, matrix uh, dimensions. And here, I'll put that there for reference. So, this is a two by three, this matrix here. So, two, enter three, new. So, it reserves a, a, a matrix for you. Then you can do edit. And here, you remember the elements. Little arrows up here to control which element you go to. So. One, two, three. If you right arrow, it goes second row. You can see the row. Four, five, six. Okay. So that one's all entered. Exit. And then I want to store that in the matrix A. This is that's a part where I, I which caused me pain before because I was like, where's because you'll see here in just a second how the stack gets shifted up and Okay, so then I'll enter the second matrix, which is a three by two, this one here. So three, enter two, new. So it reserves a three by two matrix, edit. And these are just uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I filled that matrix. Okay, next out. And we'll store that one in matrix B. So when I wasn't storing that, of course, if you try to multiply, well, the zeros in between there, so you multiply it by zero and you get a zero matrix, so kind of painful. Um, I don't know how to shift the stack around on the DM42. My HP 48GX, so I could move the stack, pop things off, push things on very easily. Um, I haven't seen other calculators that give you that ability, so I'm just going to clear these out. Okay, so now, the matrix, we store the matrices in matrix A, recall, matrix B. So now I have the two matri matrices here. Um, so to multiply them, just multiply, and you get the result in matrix. So let's see what this is. You edit, and you can see position one, one is 58, 64, 60, 139, 154. And that is how you can multiply uh, matrices.